Hello there, it's Fabienne Fredrickson from the Bold Heart Business Program and boldheart.com. And today we're gonna to talk about sales. Yes, it's the topic that you don't wanna talk about because it makes you uncomfortable and you avoid it because you don't get great results. But here's what I wanna say. You will create a bigger impact in your business with the thing that you're here to do for the people that you're here to work with. You will make more money you will provide a better lifestyle for your family. You will do your work in the world in a bigger way when you know how to close the sale. Now, the problem with most people closing the sale is they've been taught inauthentic ways to do it, inauthentic. And what I mean by that is often we are taught, especially as women, to close the sale in an overly masculine way that doesn't feel right for us. We are told to use formulas that are aggressive. And listen, it's not about bashing the masculine because I love men. You probably love men too. But the way that an overly masculine energy in closing the sale uh, works for some people, it doesn't work for all people. Perhaps you're like me. And here's what I want you to get though. If you don't learn how to close the sale in a feminine way, right? If you're a woman or a heart-centered man, if you don't know how to do that, it's not gonna change uh, how much you make. It's not gonna change the level of impact that you have in the world. So here is a formula I want you to think about and, and something that is probably slowing you down that you don't realize. The formula is this. I want you to write this down, 20, 60, 20. 20, 60, 20. And here's what I mean by that. 20% of the people who you talk to in a closing of the sale conversation will never, ever, ever, ever sign up with you. <laughs> if you can just get clear on that, they'll never sign up with you. So just expect it. About 20% of the people never will. 20% of the people that you talk to are low-hanging fruit. They have already probably decided because they're a referral or they, they just get what you do, they're gonna sign up. This is where you become the order taker. Yes, you're gonna have the closing of the sale conversation, but you're gonna be an order taker. And there's not much sales involved. So that's 20 and 20. That leaves 60% of the people in the middle who are people who will need a little hand-holding in working with you. They will, unless you have a sales system that feels authentic, they will, you know, you, they, they will have to get some aid from, from you to, to help themselves start working with you. So what do you do about the 60% of people? It's, there's, there's, my answer is twofold. The first is that you need a sales system. And, and we teach a sales system here at Bold Heart. You can go you know, see a, a free webinar at boldlyclosethesale.com, okay? You can go see that. But it's not just about the sales system. You need the right mindset, the right belief system, the right identity around being the person to close the sale. What does mindset have to do with it? Well, one, there's a wealth consciousness aspect to it that if you have this belief that money is bad and people with money are bad, then you're not going to want to attract money and all of that. But we're going to just put that to the side for today. And we're going to talk about the identity of a salesperson. If you have beliefs, as I did at one point, that selling is bad, that people who sell are in it for themselves, if you have a belief that closing the sale is taking people's money, then you will never close the sale. If instead you start thinking about the fact that it's not about taking, but it's about giving people a chance to change their situation, to change their life, to, to create a solution that they haven't been able to create on their own, then you're more likely to close the sale. So I have an assignment, other than going to boldlyclosethesale.com and watching the webinar, which I highly recommend that you do, my assignment for you today is to write down your beliefs about salespeople. I want you to write down your beliefs around selling, around closing the sale, around asking for the money, the money conversation, 
uh, helping people find a way to afford working with you. When you write down all of your beliefs, that's when you can see where you're not actually closing the sale. See, it's not that they're not closing because 60% of the people, actually 80% of the people could be your clients. 20 of them are easy. We're, we talked about the order taking, but the 60% in the middle need your help making the decision. It's not about you selling them or taking money, they need your help. But how are you showing up for that closing of the sale conversation? It all depends on what you write down in your, on the list of salespeople, selling, asking for the money, all of that. Will you do that today? I want to inspire you to look at your mindset around selling and, and see how it shows up, how you show up in the closing of the sale conversation based on what you write down, okay? That's my inspiration for you today. I'm sending you all my love and I hope that you find some treasures in there like, ooh, this is not gonna help me sell, okay? I'll see you next time, bye.